What an absolute honor it is to have Dave Lawrence be the recipient of this Community Empowerment Award. When we talk about community empowerment and Dave Lawrence in the same sentence, our minds immediately go to early age community empowerment because Dave is long focused on early childhood education and readiness. When he was thinking about retiring uh, at the newspaper, what he was looking for is what could be, what could fill his need for passionate commitment in the way the newspaper had, in the way that informing community had uh, through all of his life. And when he found it in, uh, in children, in, in early childhood readiness, um, he attacked it with the same kind of zeal and commitment as any of the best investigative reporters uh, could ever have attacked uh, their subjects, and he did not let go. Dave is an incredibly passionate guy. He, um, he gets very um, stirred up by, by things that aren't right. He wants to do things right. He wants other people to do things right. And, and you know, just as long as there are people, particularly children out there, that need an advocate, he's there. That pushes them. Dave Lawrence is one of Dan's and my favorite people for many reasons. He's bright, thoughtful, personable, and most importantly, he's always been immensely focused on helping others in our community. He doesn't do something halfway. He, he becomes obsessed by it in, in a very positive way. He doesn't settle for good, it has to be excellent. Uh, and he forces those around him to do the same. Of all the people on this planet, I really mean that, uh, he, he is the most in-person you could ever find. He's intense, totally intense, he's famous for it. He is an intellectual, no one is brighter. He reads a book every day. Because Dave is really passionate once he gets He's a dog on a bone, and once he, gets, once he gets that bone in his teeth, man, he's just not letting go. He investigates everything. He's uh, always a newspaper reporter. He will ask you more questions about more things and get more out of you than you would ever think this is possible. Some people would describe him as intimidating, um, but if he is intimidating, it's the kind of intimidation that gets you to be your best. Dave is very down to earth but very demanding, and he tries to extract the very best that anyone can have, has to offer. And, and uh, sometimes it's painful. Uh, it's painful because you don't want to work that hard. You know, Dave, don't, don't make me walk so fast. Slow down for, for a bit. Uh, he makes you want to be a better person, and that is good in, in any family, any community, any county, any state, any nation. I'm sure we all agree that education is one of the most important gifts that one can receive. And Dave is a powerful force in starting that education process during our children's most formative years. His contributions to our community will undoubtedly outlive all of us through the well-educated, well-rounded, happy, and productive citizens his efforts have generated. And again, it's not about Dave, it's what I've seen him do for a small child that has, on the surface, very little in common with David. But when you get away from the surface and you just peel the onion just a little bit back, that child is the same as David is, the same as I am. And that child is actually more important than we are because his future is much longer than ours. Bobby, his wife, is tremendous. His kids are remarkably talented and lovely. And he does that, and at the same time he's doing all that, and he's running great ventures in this town and in the state and around the country. Uh, so I guess the first thing he's taught me is it's important to keep all those things together, do it all well, and do it all with love. And that's Dave. As, as passionate, as driven, um, as, uh, as uh, maniacal as Dave is, he couldn't possibly be Dave Lawrence without Bobby. And that's not just saying so. I've known them both for 20 some years. 
Um, he is grounded because she nails his feet to the ground. Uh, she is really the rock. Uh, and I think it's just one of the most wonderful partnerships I have ever seen in my life. Now, we're not the only ones to recognize the extremely positive impact Dave has had on our community, as he has received too many awards and recognitions to mention. You will, however, find it interesting that Dave has received 13 honorary doctorates, many awards of achievement in diversity, as he is all-inclusive in his outreach, and so many Lifetime Achievement Awards that I'm surprised that he's still vertical. Also, his recognitions in the area of early childhood development are nearly endless. I think if you ask Dave, uh, he hasn't done enough. Uh, according to Dave's definition of enough, there's never enough for Dave. Uh, Dave is uh, completing one task and he doesn't want to be reminded of it. He wants to move on to the next one. Uh, he is challenged by making the world a better place. Dave will be working in the day that coffin is put into the ground. <laughs> he will probably be shoveling the dirt on top of his coffin and then sliding into the coffin himself. Dave says, teach more, love more, leave the world in a better place than you found it. Dave Lawrence is doing just that. Our community is a much better place because of Dave and his efforts have resulted in community improvements that will transcend our lifetime. And, and uh, for me, uh, as a friend, uh, as a neighbor, uh, as someone who has worked with him in many different ways, I am so proud to have that relationship, so proud to see the community appreciate that relationship. And, and celebrating Dave Lawrence is really, in a way, us all celebrating the best of Miami. So uh, it's, a, it's an exciting, an exciting opportunity tonight. Dave Lawrence, you are immensely deserving of the Community Empowerment Award. You are a living legend. You are the best. And Dan and I love you.